This is a demonstration of how to use the LED pointer to locate position of a tag or any other kind of medallion or coin where you'd like to engrave. We're using Graver Style 6 and we're going to go File, New. And it's going to ask if we want to save the current changes. We're going to say no. From here, we're going to get another dialog box. And that dialog box is material and machining definitions. We're going to click on the third tab. The third tab is point and shoot. I'm going to click point and shoot. And we're going to use the pointer on the machine. So it's LED and then pointer. And we'll click that green go button. And that's going to turn on, you can hear the beep of the machine that's got in the command, and you can see the little red dot that's flashing. On the machine, there's a little red pointer, and we have to move that into the corner of our tag. And there's our little red pointer. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is there. We're going to bring that up a little further, and over to the side. Bring that up. There you go. There's our top left hand corner of the tag of the fire hydrant. And from there, we're going to click our check button. So you click the check button, and it tells us it has it. And you can see it moves to the bottom right. So now we're going to take our little red pointer and we're going to go over to the other opposite side. Oh, it went too far. And then we're going to bring it down. And that looks good. Right there. So there's the opposite side. And from there we'll click our check button again. And we have the setup. It holds exactly where we are. So from here we'll hit our OK. And now watch what this does. Cool. It gives us the exact size that we're going to be. So we're going to type in there my name. F R. A N K, and that will fit directly in that location. We're going to now go to our machining, and let's see. We've now down in here. This box will be selected. That is the box is saying that we've used the LED pointer. We're going to do an automatic Z axis, so the Z reference will be set by itself. We're going to speed the machine up by clicking the little rabbit twice, the speed, and we're going to turn off the spindle because we're not going to be using it, and then we're going to tell our depth, just go down a little bit so we'll have some spring tension. I always like to set that point zero five zero, and from there we're all set. The machine is ready to receive, and we're going to select run. Machine's going to beep. It's all set to go, and all we have to do is push the green button, and there it goes. Oh, but we forgot we're doing the Auto Z. So when the Auto Z does present itself, we had said push the check button. Once again, there's our check button there. We'll click that. The head will come down. We'll click the check button again. The head will come up, and then from there, if we our height is set, we're going to push the green go button. And there it goes. That's it. We're done. And that's how you tell it where, where to engrave by using the LED pointer. That is your M20 Joule, the latest IQ with Graver Style 6 software.